Hi, I'm Ember. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you're doing well today. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be looking into some music by someone called DPR Ian. This is not K-pop, I don't think, but my friend would like me to look into some of the music and it's a name that I keep seeing around on Twitter, kind of relating to 80s quite a lot. I think people want like a collab or maybe there's been a collab, I don't know. But I've seen the name floating around a lot. So now that my friend has also requested uh, that I listen to some music by this artist, I thought it, it would be a good idea. So even though it's not BL and it's not K-pop, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so am I right? Not K-pop? Well, I guess there wouldn't be like the K-pop profile, right? If it's not K-pop. Oh, what am I going to do? I feel out of my comfort zone. <laughs> So DPR Ian is a musical artist, I guess Wikipedia, I don't know, I have no idea what I'm doing. Christian Yu, known professionally as DPR Ian, what does DPR stand for? Australian singer, rapper and director based in South Korea. He is a former member of Yadang Entertainment boy group Sea Clown, active from 2012 to 2015, made a solo debut under his co-founded label Dream Perfect Regime, or DPR, the digital single So Beautiful in 2020. He was the most streamed K-pop male artist globally. So is it K-pop? There's no K-pop profile. <laughs> I don't know what music this is. I know that, it, you know, it says he's Australian and Korean, but I don't... I don't... Well, he's listed on this K-pop website. We don't have our normal K-pop website. I don't know, I think we're just gonna have to listen to his music, because I did say to my friend, is is it K-pop? And I think she said, not really. So I, what, am I making that up? I don't know. I don't know what music this is. So we've got, set, well, five songs for the reaction, but then another couple of songs that I can check out in my own time or, you know, d depending on what I want to do. So we've got, don't go insane, watch the music video for this, please. So I dance. You can watch the music video or not. I'll leave it up to you. If there's a music video, I might as well watch it. Uh, ballroom Extravaganza. Personally, one of my favourite songs. I'm not entirely sure if it's me just being biased and wanting you to know the song, or if I really believe you'll like it, even though it isn't as hype as the others. Uh, then we have So Beautiful, uh, which apparently has a music video. No Blueberries is a really interesting title. And she said, it's a classic, so I think you've got to. And then bonus songs that I can check out um, another time or in my own time are Sometimes I'm, and then Nerves, and Dope Lovers. Note, his music videos are a bit different. There's not necessarily choreography, but I find them entertaining and intriguing. I won't lie, this person is kind of just a mystery to me right now. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. I'm feeling like Joker vibes from from the, the thumbnail right here, right? It's giving kind of like unhinged vibes already. Well, it is called Don't Go Insane, so it's probably the vibe he's going for, right? Shall I just go into it? This, was, this is new. This was released four months ago. Okay. Subtitles. I, th I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to expect at I all. My night on melting snow, just earning my sorrows and so you'll go and I laugh inside. We don't need them. Cause you won't know. I was here from the moment the lights showed. Oh, bless my heart. When the wolves take me away Don't fall apart When I come back from the grave Forget my charms I'll never be the same We've came so far Only to drift away Oh bless my heart When the wolves take me away Don't fall apart When I come back from the grave Forget my charms I'll never be the same We've came so far <laughs> so cool. Stay by my 
side when the nightmare goes I've been feeling distant just way out of control but I laugh inside just so you can burn in the dark when it's time for me so just try <laughs> what did I just watch? I feel like I've gone insane. What did I just watch? I mean... I... Um... I think... Uh... <laughs> like... <laughs> I'll start with like what I do know. I really like the song. It was really catchy. I I think I was just like <laughs> I think I was just like yo-yoing between like that's really creepy and that's really cool. <laughs> I think that's why I'm like so confused because at first I thought he was creepy. I think it was something to do with the contact, especially like at the beginning here. These where like the, his like pupils are like wider. I I think it just kind of really creeped me out. So at first I found him creepy, and there there's shots right like the one I just had it on with the glowing eyes before like here. There there are shots where he's creepy, but then it like cuts to this Be really cool choreography. Really cool. Anytime he was like dancing in, in that kind of synced up choreography, it looked badass. There's more of it going on here. All of this. Loved it. So cool. But then we get like those interjections of the really creepy shots, and uh, I'm I'm really unnerved again. And it got to like here, and this is where it really started to creep me out because like this kind of stuff really kind of unnerves me a little bit. Um. And the oh, it's funny that the person he escapes with at the end is the top hat person with the green suit, and that was the most creepy person to me, right here. All of this. That that what it's that one frame where he like turns to look at the camera right there. That is creepy as fuck to me. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of oh, I'll never remember the name of it now. There was a horror movie I saw years ago years and years and years ago about this person who was like hallucinating these kind of weird creatures and there was like this no face person creature thing that was like chasing them 
Um, I, I'll never remember what it's called now, but it, it just kind of weirdly took me back to that. I just found it like super creepy. <laughs> but then this person ends up being chill, no? They they they're chill. It lets them go, like helps them escape, runs from the the pink people, and then you get this cool like dancing sequence again. It all looks so cool. Well, this is creepy too. But all of this is pretty cool, no? Anytime he's dancing with the group, I think it looks badass. I also hated this, because all these people creeped me out to begin with, but because he like backs into them and he becomes surrounded, that kind of almost triggered my agoraphobia a little bit. Like there's just no escape from all those people that are just like all around him. So I found that kind of disturbing as well. I was very unsettled for most of this music video. <laughs> The song is cool though. It's catchy. It's quite funky, you know? Good beat. Good tune. For sure. Are all his music videos gonna be like that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> so the next one is called So I Danced. <laughs> you can watch the music video or not. I'll leave it up to you. That's a nice thumbnail. That's pretty. This was released five months ago, so slightly older, but still, I would say, relatively new. Oh, that has a performance video. Hang on a sec. Is it just as creepy? I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Man, don't got no buttons on his shirt. Do you really like this song? He has a very interesting voice, no? To drift away, oh blast my heart when the wolves take me away. Don't fall apart when I come back from the grave. Forget my charms, I'll never be the same. We've came so far, I'll need to go inside. Okay, <laughs> well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's good. Less creepy for sure. <laughs> All right, this sorry, we're going into back. So I Dance, uh, which was released five months ago. In our newsroom, it seems Let's to be go. a sudden general explosion of mass homicide. No further details available at this time. There's no hello on our way to the show. Your sweet face is turning cold. As the fires begin to really draw interesting a little closer I left all the water running at home Then drove around with a car that we saw All of a sudden they just wanted to know We have a blue no face now So I just danced Nice transition. Oh, they're all back. Green one's definitely the good one. Pink one are definitely the bad ones, no. <laughs>
too. That on the TV. Yeah, you're still creepy, dude. Sorry. I don't know about you. I really don't. That. There's no way this is the same person. What? It's fucking insane. What is going on here? Blitzers? <laughs> I'm so confused. They okay. Maybe that's why people were mentioning 80s because <laughs> they were talking about Mito, but I think it's a different Mito, I'm guessing, right? But it was kind of interesting. Not gonna lie, didn't really pay much attention to the music. Uh, that was like that, that felt like a feature length movie. How are you gonna tell me that's only four and a half minutes long? I feel like I've <laughs> <laughs> I've witnessed a, a feature length movie. So much was happening. And I've got no, uh, after all that, I still got no idea what's going on. I don't know. <laughs> I've got no idea. I feel like I'm tripping or something. It's crazy. This is a super cool look for him, though. <laughs> this was like weirdly cute uh, among all of the craziness. I don't know. What was going on with the TV at the end? Can we confirm? I really feel so I just danced. That is creepy as fuck. I I won't lie to you. <laughs> I'm very unsettled by these music videos. I don't know why. I watch horror movies, so I don't, I just I don't think I expected it. I don't know what I expected, uh, from this person, but I it was not this. Oh, this is the person Songwa did the challenge, right? Can I confirm? It was on TikTok like a couple weeks ago. What was that song called? That was Don't Go Insane. That's this. <laughs> Light of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Featuring one of my favorite kitty cats. <laughs> okay. Um so okay, that that's the first song we listen to. Ballroom Extravaganza is one that my friend really likes. Not sure if I'll like it. It isn't as hype as the others. Maybe that means it won't be as like unsettling to to listen to. Oh, does this one have a music video? Mito again, but with two eyes. Well, Let's give it a listen. It definitely seems slower, right? The crowd has come to a halt. The birds won't sing for you anymore. Not like before. It's 
nice to be able to pay attention to the music. <laughs> It's definitely not the kind of thing I would normally listen to. It's not even that it's slower, because it is definitely a little bit fast paced, right? Um, it's just not normally my vibe. What I will say, though, is that I noticed a lot of his vocal like range in this, right? Because there's times when he sings really deep, there's times when he does the higher register, and there's times when his voice, the inflection in it, is like so different that from one line to a, the next, I could actually convince myself it's two different people singing. There's like one part where he's singing about like all the king's horses and all the king's men or something like that. When he sings that part and then the part directly afterwards, it literally sounds like two different people, <laughs> um, which I find really interesting. He's, he definitely seems to have a lot of vocal control uh, and a lot of range and variety. Right. So beautiful. Should have a music video. Yep. <laughs> Does he have a music video that's not kind of odd? Like, even this thumbnail, like, one of his eyes is, like, whited out, right? But then he's got, like, an a ring on his finger with an eyeball. That's, I don't know about this. <laughs> okay, we'll go into it. We'll see. This one is called So Beautiful, which is a very nice name still remember. for a song. Sorry, sir, what did you say? Change again. Remind me of the time when I still remembered. Okay. That doesn't mean very much to me, I won't lie. Got a lot of tattoos. Are they real tattoos? I've not been paying attention. He has a lot of tattoos. Are they real? Holy shit. <laughs> He's like going through emotional distress and I'm here like, nice tats, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not what I should be taken away from this moment, I understand. This was 
got some cool fucking transitions in it between the two scenes. I don't know about it. Man's got like eyeballs all over his shoulder. do yo-yo between that so cool and that so weird slash unsettling slash creepy with these music videos i swear i'm like barely listening to the music because <laughs> i'm like so immersed in the music videos they're they're amazing they're amazing music videos like i'm so immersed in it all of this really like yeah yeah <laughs> does he have the eyeballs like because he's got like eyeballs right here, right? Which seems to be the theme of the music video. So the, uh, at the very least, I don't think the eyes are real tattoos, right? You know how I point out he's got like eyes on his chest, like right, right here, right here, right? He's got these eyes right here. I think that is to do with like the theme of the music video, right? Because back like here, he doesn't have them on his chest, right? So at least that particular tattoo was just for effect for the music video, I would say. He looks badass. <laughs> Don't even blame him for being shirtless when he looks that cool. Yeah, see, all of this is different, right? It says Mito. Do you see that? This is an M. This is an I. This is a T. This is an O. It says Mito again. Yeah, very cool. Again, very unsettling. <laughs> And again, it's a slower vibe song, so that one was quite catchy for me. I did I did vibe along to that one, but it is slightly slower than what I would normally listen to. No Blue Breeze is a classic. This one is three years ago, so all of the ones I think so far have been fairly recent, maybe? This is three years old. Let's see what we're working with. I feel I need to ask the question, who is Mito? These music videos are like fucking movies, no? You're just immediately like really immersed and like trying to work out what's going on. Oh, 
I was literally about to be like, you don't like blueberries? And then I remembered the name of the song. <laughs> My dude's not a fan of blueberries. Why'd you get dessert that's got blueberries on it then? Me asking the real questions. <laughs> You're at dessert, please. You could get anything you want. I like no blueberries in my ice cream cake. No air to breathe with that masking tape. Stop, please. I need a hostage free. I need a rocket ship. I need a run from. I like no blueberries in my ice cream cake. No air to breathe with that masking tape. Stop, please. I need a hostage free. I need a rocket ship. I need a run from. in your eyes baby red green all blue welcome to the other side i keep losing my tempo for you i love it how you think i'm always this cold excuse me while i think i'm just a fool in your eyes baby Same red green on his own. all blue welcome to the other side very cool yeah i like no blueberries in my ice cream cake no air to breathe with that masking tape I need a hostage free, I need a rocket ship, I need a run from you. I'm just kinda lost. I'm looking down. Man, I wouldn't even run, I would just accept death. <laughs> Your motto, pass me the tick, tick, good old, don't make me shoot. Same full of rappers, jump with the motto, so we need to go. Drop to the floor. Oh, cool. Cool. Oh, 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 cool. Oh,
and it looks so completely different to all these other ones. But it's, again, it's a very weird title, right? Peanut Butter and Tears. It was only really six months ago. That's like the same time as like these other ones, no? Don't go insane, so I danced. It's got like such a nice thumbnail. I'm coming back for you. I'm just going to investigate this. I'm not going to watch it. One to the left. Yeah. One to the right. But I just want to see like, is it a complete vibe shift or is the thumbnail misleading? Oh. Immediately, something felt different and a lot more terrifying. No, I think the thumbnail was misleading. Green man is back. He doesn't look anywhere near as threatening without the top hat and suit, though. <laughs> Very handsome man, man. Can, we, can I just appreciate that? <laughs> Picture of Icarus. A little bit creepy, <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I don't know. I thought of Icarus when I saw this. But I, I like the story of Icarus, so I'm probably gonna. He took a key. Sneaky bastard. <laughs> and another peculiar music video. Nice song. I really like it. Uh. That, that this was a little bit that creeped me out <laughs> but this whole transition right here so cool <laughs> you you can't deny these music videos are like very visually stunning though the the it's very easy to get immersed in them sorry i was meant to be listening to nerves i wasn't even recommended that one this was released two years ago It's the third music video I've noticed that eyeball. Yeah, I don't blame you for being shaky, man. You've been through a lot. You've been running from all kinds of things. Peace. 
now Hi, how you doing? Don't worry about me, cause I'm doing fine So you came around my house And you left your mark with your I feel like there's like so much going on in these music videos that I feel like probably fans of DPR Ian will probably like know all about, right? Whereas I'm looking at it and I'm just like, I, I feel there's like messages being conveyed here, but maybe I'm I'm like, I'm not able to pick up on all of them. I really like that song though. I actually related to, to some parts of it quite a lot too. I found, I found it quite relatable in places. And in general, again, it's just like a very visually impressive music video. He has a really interesting voice, he has a lot of vocal control and I actually really like when he sings like slightly deeper and you can hear like um, a lot of depth and flavour to his voice. I am going to leave it there because we've listened to technically seven, I think, seven songs. Um, I would say Don't Go Insane is my favourite. I really like it, it's really catchy. So I Danced was good too. No Blueberries was really catchy, it was just really weird. I mean they were all kind of weird, no? <laughs> And I really liked this one too. In general, I think his music is a little bit slower than what I would normally listen to. And I would say because one of the highlights for me are the weird music videos uh, and the, the kind of visually stunning music videos, that if I was going to listen to these songs again, I would probably play them on YouTube so that I can like watch the music videos because it feels like they're like packed full of story, you know? And, and like messages and stuff like that. Anyway, that is it for DPR Ian. It is slightly different, as I said, from what I would normally react to, so <laughs> sorry about that. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you to my friend for recommending his music. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And uh, <laughs> yeah, just if there's anything you want to tell me about these music videos, <laughs> go for it. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!